What is rock and we are here. Okay, I don't know why I did that again. What the fuck? I'm not Zamrock. I don't know why I tried to do that, but Zamrock is really cool. So I guess I tried. Why is this Magiana hiding? We are here with uh, P2 versus Adam, and Adam just made an alt. I am P. Adam got it voiced. I don't know if he just made this alt, but he got it voiced just for his game. God, why did I botch him or intro like that? So we both have, they both have a Tangoras and a Magirna. And they both have a Steel Mega, Steel Mega, uh, Mega Melagros, Mega Scissor. No Dougie this time from P2's side, I think he got Dougie last time. Um, so I assume Adam is Fist Death, Tangoras, and if, if he didn't want to stay in there and take a potential Life Orb Fire Blast to the to face. I'm not 100% sure, but okay, let's just exchange rocks, but P2S like... Kind of has the momentum here, and he's probably gonna go for U-turn on the Feeny. As ma makes a nice mid-ground play in case it's um, Protein Greninja. I was like, I was speaking as if it was already confirmed that it was Ash Ninja, but it was not confirmed. I don't know about that Ice Beam play. Maybe predict in Tangros, but Tangros and like Feeny both died a gunk shot, so I get I get the Magiana play by Adam. That play makes sense. So like, this might have HP fire, but it's not like it does that much to Magiana. That I seen did 7. <laughs> Law CP said, why is Ebel Greninja a thing? You think this is Ebel? What? Hmm. We got that nice 5, 11 a.m. in the morning. I mean, I'm always sad it's morning, I don't know why I had to stay the morning. But yeah, I'm just... Switch the momentum in its favor by making that play into Magi, and I'm getting the the volt switch off. And I see him going for off quick here because he don't play around with Magi, even though like P2 shouldn't stay in. Because Magi is nice for the Tangrels and for the. It's also nice for the Feeny and for the. Yeah, mainly for the Tangrels and for the Feeny. So that actually did it. Good chunk to Scizor. He's just gonna Mega Wolf and Roost here. The question is. Nah, we already saw it's left over the land. It's not Z-Move. Never mind, never mind. He's just gonna Roost them. And. This Magina might be HP Fire if he goes straight out into it. This is like screaming. Ho ho, I have HP Fire. Switch out. I'm Volt Switching. <laughs> I have HP Fire, but I'm not going for it. I'm Volt Switching. I just wanna scare you out. But you just go for Flash game. Predicting maybe a potential guard jump? Nah, I don't know. If you predict guard jump, you would go for Flurkin. Maybe it doesn't have Flurkin. <laughs> Race Scarface, whoever kills the Magiana first win. So he gets rid of the AV on the tank. And he's gonna get rid of the AV on the Magiana? If it's AV? Yeah. Oh, leftovers. I don't know if the leftovers were showed earlier, I didn't pay attention there. So, my, this is like probably, is this potentially comment Magiana if it has leftovers? Not sure. When Magiana was first revealed, I thought it got Star Fox, because there was like a video on YouTube that like showed all the moves Magiana learned. And it, I think it said it runs rocks, but that was like a mistake or something. It would be ju like juicy. That thing already has like a really good move pool. I mean, I feel like P2 is overall in the in the leading position here. His this are just walls. Um, the combination like it was Landris and it was Melrose, but since Rock's up, he's always like he's always pressured to lose, but. It's working out for him so far. I don't know why. Like, I don't know why Adam like off quick there. See, like you jump around fine. Uh, I guess he doesn't want to play around with the Magiana because like getting rid of Magiana would be nice for Adam. But there's no way PT would sack that in my opinion. So yeah, it is HP fire. What I thought earlier. Now it got revealed.
what's he going for here like HP ice or HP fire? Probably HP ice. Eh. No, he went for HP hidden powers Magina, so that's not ice, that's fire. Like ice wouldn't make much sense on the Magina. Unless you predict them in a switch. Wait, that crit is a bit annoying. <laughs> Shout out P2 for not using the handed T. I don't see something like every team, that's true. I mean, yeah, unless this is HP fire, this is what just comes in and this, there's no way to HP fire because that's like a tech set. Oh, we get a boost. He already has HP fire on the gear. That T punch actually did nothing. Dead at five. Is he like max? He's like near max defensive, I think. Dude, that T punch did zero. I did not realize that you got an attack boost. What? Now Adam realizes there's no point in staying in. What's well, toxic scissor? So what did he predict the tank? What did he predict the Landrus? I really don't get what he predicted there, because Fini wouldn't have gotten toxic, the steel tips wouldn't have gotten toxic. And Tangrus would die to U-turn, so he either predicted Lando or Ranger or he... I don't know, I don't get that point. I mean, this ninja is kind of threatening. I don't think Tangrus can take two... okay, take, can take two Hydros, but... He couldn't have taken two Dark Pulse. I don't know, I feel like he could have gone for Dark Pulse there, since the Magiana is pretty low. Actually, oh, the Magiana, the Magiana was in, never mind, never mind. I thought something else was out. Yeah, I agree with Hydrating then. <laughs> and he said bows not live up Spikes Ninja. Yeah, I like the Spikes Ninja set a lot. It's just like Protein Ninja is so good, it like forces switches and you can get up spikes. And you can like even bluff gunk shot versus Fini. I mean most ninja run gunk shot anyway, but if you don't have a specific coverage move, you can come in with your Greninja on Feroth and bluff that you have HP fire and get up a spike and they should switch out scouting for it. And you just get some nice spike up like and just such a good mon. I wonder when they will like suspect test it. Why the fuck is this Omega so bulky? That's a good question. But the rocks help. The rocks help Adam a little bit versus the scissor. Like what's even going on into here? Like he's not HP fire ninja. His Makina is already low. <coughs> Metagross gets walled. Double Feeding just lets the Tangros in again. So yeah, I really don't know what Adam's play is here. P2's like... really under leech here, I don't see how he can lose. So, okay, basically sex is my gear now, if there's no like point in saving it now. I guess you can... You can go to Tangroth, yeah. Because the Tangroth is healthy and keep the Magir as a far, as fodder. But that's actually close. If like Adam goes for the flinch here, as my dude Padlop would go for the flinch here and say, Oh, let's get this nice cash money flinch. You know how else uses Magir now? Magir is low, so there's not a switch in. Regenerate is like such a good ability though, it's crazy how Tangworth was 
in Aura's Tangles was like, are you for so long? And so was Among Us, and then they like, people like started using them, and then like, they went up to, oh, you have a thing. I, I just think it's crazy that they were in the lower tier that long, because they're like really good in my opinion. Like, Narkov just, is just such good utility on Tangrowth. And you can just like run the set that your team needs, either the Rocky Helmet or the AV set. I mean, Tangrowth was probably fine in RU, I didn't play RU, but... It just went up by usage, obviously it didn't get banned. So that's... A really nice play by Adams. I mean, he scouts for the gunshot, goes into Maragross, but not, what's he gonna do now? Like, if this is Dark Pulse, he's still in a bad position. Like, doesn't he just sack his. I think he just sacks the Magina here. I don't know why he's pivoting around and just letting everything take rocks. God, I might. <laughs> I'm so close to falling asleep. They call me 5:20 a.m. But yeah, I think this is the, the last match for this SPL week four. And now it's like after this, it's like mid-season. He goes for Spike, predicting the sack the Magiana. That play was unnecessary from like P2's part. He, Ah, oh, he also got the boost. If he gets a para or crit, damn, the T-Punch did nothing. The left, like, did 33 or 35, but that one did only 31. I wonder if this is, like, max defense or like... Toxic Scissor is, like, interesting to say the least. I don't know if it's good, because Type of Fini is everywhere with Misty Terrain. You can still Toxic Mons in the air, but what is in the air besides Landorus? You cannot Toxic Sustain and Scarry with Scissor. So it's, I don't know. I was pretty sure if I would ask P2, he could explain to me what the set is like supposed to do. So yeah, you can like sign up for SBL for mid-season. I might just link you the guys the thread in the description if I don't forget it. But you obviously have to like... I think you just get picked if like people know you. And if you like... Like if you if you are just a new player and you just stay uh, say signing up or like you say uh, uh, yeah, I'm here I want to play for SPL I don't think th that you have any chance of getting picked up. But yeah, if they like if you like know someone big or, or like you have tested or you have thought so like you replay that you're really good maybe they, you have a chance. But I actually don't know how this works so I shouldn't give any wrong information. Um, so P2 revenge the uh, Metagross with Scarf Jump. Not really sure as to why Adam just sacked his Metagross when he could have gone Tangrowth on the back on the Earthquake. But I guess he had, would have had to take like rocks with spikes. I mean, yeah, P2 kind of wasted his Greninja, but on the other side, that spike plus the rocks is like putting in the work with Adam now. But Mons wise, like he, P Adam is up 5 4 and he can like threaten everything with his Greninja. I don't think that. Tangrowth is living a dank, dank put, a dark put at this range. So yeah, you're really getting this 24-7 uh, SPL coverage here on my channel, it's crazy. Oh, it is Scuff Stealth Rock Jump, I didn't even pay attention to that. <laughs> NGMP said P2 learning, good job. Lol, GB said... One step forwards, two steps back, so Ninja wasn't alive. <laughs> They're really saying it's extra, but like, I don't know. Okay, so it gets the Ash form. Yeah, it's probably over then. Yeah, I really don't know. Hmm. <laughs> Didn't I just say a few turns ago, P2's in a better position? And I don't see how he loses and how he gets blown away.
but it's crazy like the deadline for SPS in like 35 minutes and these guys, these two guys are really staying up like I don't know like I think it's like 11 p.m. for Adam but for P2 it's like 4 a.m. at the time at this 4:20 a.m. or something at the moment and he has like college at 6 a.m. which is crazy the dude just put it pulled an all-nighter like I mean I did the same but yeah I'm not playing like if I would play I was lettering like two hours ago and call with a friend and I was facing stall and <laughs> I didn't have good breakers and I just got so annoyed and I just clicked forward after a few turns can't concentrate anymore 2 or 3 am these people they like, just want to have some fun but heat on the ladder and these people bring stall <laughs> but yeah that's, that's that happens I bring stall sometimes myself so I shouldn't talk down on them I mean I didn't mean to talk down I just said that it's annoying like obviously everyone like no one likes to play versus stall I mean there are some weird players some people like to play versus stall for some reason but I don't know So I don't know what P2 is thinking about. Is he scarf later? He's already scarf jump or probably he did probably cock if he could live one. Uh, this I don't think this can live one, so he's probably double scarf. Like Ashton has like six hundred seven attack. With choice backs. Does it live? Like I really doubt Lily lifts this, but I guess we will find out. Like, P2 needs some more damage on the top of Fini. The thing is, P2 says I was really bulky, so there's no way it outspeeds Fini. I mean, most Finis run speed anyway, so that would have to run way too much speed to even have a chance to outspeed Fini. Okay, and I'm just sexed them again. I guess 2 hit kill by Moonless. That might be Scarf because their damage is definitely not specs. Um, could also be Z move. I don't, did he reveal the Z move yet? Could be all up pummeling. Yeah, I think this was Assault Vest. This was. Ooh, they were saying the Greninja was Export, but what if the Greninja was Z move? Yeah, either the Greninja or this is probably Z move. But yeah, I lost my, my thought process train thing, train of thought. <laughs> uh, also, yeah, I don't really know why P2 is taking his time there, like he just clicks Moonblast again. Um, oh yeah, I was talking about Scizor. Scizor just took the hit so well, oh, there's no way it's speedy Scizor. There's no way it outspeeds the Fini. Because if the Fini as his outspeeds the Fini, could potentially 1v1 it. Maybe, because it could Ruth before the Fini could taunt it. And it just meant it wouldn't be this as a 1v1, probably. And if Mr. Terrain was off, he could like then toxic the Fini with fast scissor before he gets taunted, but. The Fini is like healthy at the moment, so after health, it's gonna be at like. 60-ish, 67-ish, I don't know exact, the exact um, amount of HP will be at, but yeah, it's easily going to be able to check jump after something gets sacked off, I mean, power Landris and Tank was also prevent the jump from spamming, uh, from spamming off quick, and Fini prevents it from dra spamming Dragon Claw. So like the only thing that hits the Fini and the Tangles would be poison here, but that's okay. That, that's again resisted by Landris, so you don't see. Also Greninja has water shrink probably. But yeah, jump is too healthy so it can take one of that, but I just don't see P2 coming back. Now Like to be completely honest I didn't even like notice what happened. Like P2 was just in a good position. And then, yeah, I remember that he sacked the Squid Ninja, which was like, I don't think that was necessary. He could have killed the Malagros. But he just, he just got up a spike at the cost of his Ninja. Uh, I don't think that was the play, but... Besides then that, I don't know like where he gave the momentum away, because he, he had like the upper hand earlier. 
And I was like pretty sure that he would win, but then I'm just turn it around. I mean, yeah, it's not 100% over, but they're saying who takes this moon blast. Um, I guess they are right. They did not think about scarf moon blast, but. Yeah, I think Phoenix is the only play, but the thing is, like, Landorus dies. Tangrowth got the AV knocked off, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Let me, like, recheck. Re yeah, the opposing Tangrowth got the AV knocked off, exactly. Turn 8. So Tangrowth won't live this after spikes and rocks, probably. Mm, Adam's probably Kalkin because he's taking his time. Maybe Tangrowth can take one, but I, don't, I doubt it. Yeah, Fini was the only player. Hmm. Like, I just didn't think about Scarf Lily. Yeah, exactly, it's not Scarf. So, yeah, I don't think P2 wins. But Scarf Lily had potential to win. Wait, what do you mean? I don't see how the scissor dies. The scissor dies to good ninja, I think. No, I guess. Mm, I guess you can take a hit from the ninja. No, the scissor dies to specs pump. Like. After this goes down, he just goes into the ninja and picks. Dark pulse or pump. Like, depends on. If, I don't know if he has to risk pump. And then. Like P2 has to sack this off. He also doesn't die to the hazard the next time, so he has one more switch in. So he said P2 literally wins, so yeah, I guess my... Uh, I don't know what I'm missing here, my, like my analysis is not on point. Scissor wins, Chomp wins too. So yeah, um, I am fired. It's 5:32 a.m. and I am fired. My analysis is not on point. <laughs> I thought Adam had this game, like at this point in the match. Earlier, I was like, I thought P2 had it and then it shifted, but like Greninja gets a kill here, right? And then if he. If he goes into chomp, I guess he can outrage spam since the Phineas went down. Like earlier, it was like he couldn't spam dragon moves, but since. Hmm, let me think, let me think. So, if he sacks this and goes to chomp, and then he clicks outrage and kills something, right? He's not even water sharing range, so even if the ninja comes back, that doesn't help. So, yeah. Tangus is at 40 after. Yeah, the thing is, the Greninja is in, the Greninja is in bullet punch range now. I don't know why he brought hard Tangus. I feel like he could have like sacked Landorus there. No, it, it, it didn't matter, I think. But if he sacked Landorus, he could have done on Tangus if he has HPS. Maybe he already revealed if he doesn't have HPS, I'm not sure. But yeah, now he just loses. He's like water shrinking, crit, everything. This is also loves water shrinking, probably, so. Yep. This was like this was awful. Like you, like I'm not even like I'm not even mad if you guys give me a thumbs down for this one, because I deserve a thumbs down for my bad analysis. Like I just underestimated the power of these hazards that P2 got up.
Yeah, like this. This, <laughs> this makes me kind of mad. But let me pause real quick and look at the score. Like that, I, that I fucked up the narration. Like the analysis. Okay, so I will just, I will just give you guys every score. Um, week four, the spiel is over. Grumpix was Wolfpack. They tied. They played six and six. So I think they both get one point. I think that's how it works. When you like get the more points you get, then you like get put into playoffs. And playoffs team number one plays versus team number four in semis, and team two plays versus team three. And so the score was six five. Here in Tigers versus Classics, and since P two won this, Tigers uh, won the week seven and five, which is pretty nice since they have uh, two German players on there. So shoutouts to German players. <laughs> And what else? What else? So Maximus Tigers win seven, win seven five was classiest. Raiders win um, pretty like they were pretty dominating. They won eight and four versus Dark Sharks. Um, Chronicles versus Falcon seven and five. Shouts to Zemro the God NJ and P. Brought a cash comfy team and. <laughs> Too sad that he didn't win, but his team won, so it's all good. Pork was actually was a bit hexy, so yeah, the Chronicles definitely deserve to win this one. I didn't see this Uber's match. I just know there was like a Lugia at the end was some key, and I saw the end it was like some PP store or something. Don't remember exactly. And Scooters was Runa 6-6, six, six, so there were like two serious bad like ended in a tie. The the Evergreen Bix was Wolfpack and at 6-6 six, six, and the Indy Scooters was the Runas and at 6-6 six, six as well. Uh, let me go through these matchups again. Hector Hartman vs. Jimmy. So below us, AVR was a pretty clean game, even though like AVR's team was like looking like Oris. Uh, I I missed Jirachi vs. Sugar. I probably played on some old or something because I was like online the entire time. I just didn't realize when they were playing. The Thorn hexed a little bit with his blunder, but I don't think that it was that big of a deal. Like I think Blunder was on the defensive side with his Gastron and Dark puts his mobile beat and then Gastron has recovered so like the Hooper would beat Scarf Hooper would beat Gastron eventually. Like what's Gastron doing back? Chip damage with half power maybe? Or, like fishing for a skull burn. I mean yeah Blunder could have won that if he awarded every hex but it was like he was on the defensive it was about to happen and yeah, I don't know why, why I'm still talking this is way too long. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this 24-7 SPL coverage. I mean, it's not 24-7, but it's a lot, a lot, a lot of SPL coverage. This video will just probably be up like, in the middle of the next week because I have a lot of videos and I have to render them. It's going to take some time and I don't want to upload too many videos one day, especially if one woman is good God, it's going to take ages to render. Um, so just stay tuned for more. There's like mid-season now signups are up oh yeah i gotta remember to link the signups in the, in the description and i'm not sure if i'm gonna record the mid-season i think there's like some old star match or something not sure exactly how that works gonna have to check the forums and everything so i thank you guys for watching and just stay tuned for more like that's the content is coming the content is gonna keep coming i'm actually insane i'm pumping this out like a, like it's my job good god